side part in full view. Cause I'm old and I'm okay with it. You'll never get my skinny jeans. Well, hello there. I'm Nusha, also known as Ferocious and Pretty Pens, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm glad to have you. I'm glad you took the, the leap to go down this rabbit hole to this corner of the interwebs where we talk about all things related to fountain pens, fountain pen inks, artsy fartsy things, or whatever I feel like filming at the present moment. If you're returning, I'm so glad you have not abandoned me yet because we're just getting started. Now, it's been a little while since I've actually filmed a video, so hopefully I remember how to do it. Honestly, this is take two of this specific video. I filmed it the first time, and apparently I didn't have my microphone plugged in, so instead of it being a really awkward movie where the voiceover does not track with my lip movements, <laughs> I decided to just film it over again, so bear with me. Yeah. This video is going to be a review of a recent addition to my Santini Italia collection. I was recently on their website and noticed that they had released some new materials. And one of those materials that caught my eye was the Nonagon candy. And I had such a great experience with them, with the Nonagon Flamingo, and you know everything that came out of Santini Gate 2021. If you haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and link it up here. It does a great job, you know, in my opinion, because <laughs> I made it and stuff. Uh -huh. It does a great job in showing you the size comparison of the Nonagon to other pens, the overall length of those pens, the comparison of grip sections, and just talks a little bit about the weight and feel in hand. So if you're interested in learning more about the Nonagon overall as a model by Santini Italia, check out that video. For this video, I'm going to focus specifically on the candy material that they've released in the Nonagon model. The other thing for this review is that Santini Italia was kind enough to include one of their super flex nibs in fine along with my pen purchase. They did this free of charge and I just want to make sure that we're being very transparent when I receive things. I, you know, think that it is truly the job of the person on this side of the camera to be upfront and honest whenever they are not paying for things. And that's a personal opinion. And because it is my opinion, I'm going to hold myself to that standard. So, you know, we're just going to leave it at that. Now, with that said that they sent this to me, as this channel grows, as opportunities may or may not arise, who knows? I may receive things, and when I do, I want you to be, you know, 100% certain of this. I'm always going to be honest as to what I think of what was sent to me, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, because I have something known as foot in mouth itis. <laughs> If I have an opinion about something, I really suck at keeping it to myself. So maybe you like that, maybe you don't like that, maybe that means other people will send me things, maybe it doesn't. But I digress. If you're interested in seeing the Nonagon candy material in comparison to the Nonagon Flamingo and also the Super Flex Fine Nib in Action, then keep watching. And here is the box that the pen comes in. Now, if you watched my Nonagon Flamingo video, I'm, I know I'm shamelessly plugging my other video right now, but honestly, if you watched that one, then you saw that it came in a wooden box. I'm thinking that this is likely the new updated packaging that they're going to be using. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. That box, while it was really nice with like plush velvet on the inside, I don't need another one. And for some of you, you don't want one to begin with or you already have one. And when you open it, you have a warranty card over here, which 
This is new as well. It says the date that you purchased it and has the information for Santini Italia with their phone number written there. So their warranty is 12 months from the date of purchase. And then the pen comes in this pouch. I have yet to ink this pen, but I have looked at it because I, I, I couldn't wait for you guys. I couldn't wait for you guys. I wanted to get a, a peeky poo at it. So let's get some sexy pen time going here. to show you a comparison of the Nonagon Flamingo to the Nonagon Candy. I'm doing this because the Nonagon Flamingo is still available. If you're not sure of which one you prefer, I'm hoping this will give you a good idea. Overall, the shape, model, filling mechanism, clips, cap rings, both come with a number six 18 karat gold nib. But what is different about the two pens is that the Flamingo hardware is gold plated, and the nib itself is a yellow gold nib. And the candy, this hardware is solid bronze, and the nib itself is a rose gold nib. Now, I don't think that it comes across on video very well, but all of the hardware and, you know, with the rose gold nib, everything has kind of a, a coppery hue with this pen and I think they did that on purpose because of the fact that it has these orange swirls in the purple ebonite. And with this one, the regular yellow gold just made sense. So that's the major difference that you're gonna see between the two. If you are dead set on getting a specific finish for the hardware and for the nib, if you reach out to their customer service, they are more than willing to usually work with you to get you exactly what you want. So don't feel as if you are limited by exactly what you see. From my understanding of how Santini Italia does this is that they have the material available for, you know, the, the run of 98 pens that these special editions come in. Most of the parts are ready, but they don't actually put it together until they have an order for it. And that's, I think, why it takes that seven to 10 business days to get it to you. Before we start the handwriting sample, let me tell you the inks that I chose to put in each of these pens. For the Nonagon Candy, I chose Germain Larme de Cassis. And then for the Flamingo, I chose Sailor Ink Studio 273. Now for le piste de la résistance, my friends. Let's do the writing sample. This is my normal 52 GSM Tomato River paper notebook. So what I find interesting about the Santini nibs is that they are finer than what you would expect a western nib to be. So for example, this is a broad, but compared to my Lamy and Pelican, it feels like a more finer nib, like a medium. It's really interesting. So if you're somebody that likes the, the Japanese nibs because of how fine they are, I think that you will be pleasantly surprised by the fine and extra fine of this line of pens. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing. I just think it's something to be aware of. The other thing is because these have fairly wet feeds because they are ebonite, it's just a super juicy, delicious writing experience. I think I picked the right color to, to use in here. And yeah, it's keeping up just fine as I'm writing. I'm not writing super, super slow like I usually do, but I'm not writing very fast either, so keep that in mind. And Jerba, the base colors in their collection are fairly wet in my experience, so. All right, now that that's dried, I want to do a comparison with the medium nib. 
that I had. All right, you can tell that there's definitely a variation between the broad and the medium, as you would expect. The broad's a little bit broader, the medium's a little bit more medium in the world of Santini. All right, so now let's play with the fine super flex nib. Wow, that is really fine. Dang, nib, you so fine. Yeah, okay, sorry. I need to not <laughs> do or say things like that. I wonder what their extra fine would be like. I bet you their extra fine is super duper fine. The ink is flowing free. I like it. Now, if you don't know anything about my writing style, I am fairly heavy handed, but I know the limits of my nibs. So while I am pushing this, I'm not pushing it far enough for it to, to spring because that's a no-no, that's bad. If you're not sure how far to push a nib, then don't do it. Public service announcement for the day. it a comparison of the three nibs that I now own by Santini Italia. All in all super juicy writers for both the non-flex broad and the super flex fine. I wanted to do something a little different for this review in that I wanted to use up another notebook that I have lying around. This is the Midori MD graph paper but I wanted to do a writing sample on this notebook just to see how the paper is able to hold up. Is it able to handle what I am doing? Because it's fairly wet experience. Okay, so let's start off with no pressure. Wow, that's, that's really fine. I think I might get this dubbed. This is like a really fine, fine nib. All right, so now let's try. This is with pressure. To me, it seems like the flex on this goes from a fine to a medium and sometimes a broad. The amount of ink this thing is putting down is kind of crazy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's bust out a little bit of maybe Lionel Richie. Hello. Or Adele, depending on what you're in the mood for. Is it me you're looking for? Gosh, that's such a good song. That Lionel Richie. He just just knew how to how to party all night long. All night. <laughs> and see if we can. Yeah, it goes from a a fine to like a a broad. I would not recommend pushing it past this. While it is a gold nib and it's seemingly really well made in how it snaps back, uh, I wouldn't want it to separate from the ebonite feed. It has, so there's that. And then let's uh, let's try really fast. Well, I hope you enjoyed this portion of me writing Lionel Richie <laughs> lyrics for whatever reason. And from here, back to myself in the studio for the wrap up. Woo! To wrap up, the Nonagon candy and the Nonagon flamingo. Would I buy the flamingo again now that I have the candy? Do I prefer one over the other? First and foremost, how dare you? You're like asking me to choose between my children. I would never do that. <laughs> I think that each pen has a different look to it because of the material that they chose. And I honestly wouldn't get rid of either one of these because I feel like the candy is that perfect, cool toned purple, purpley whatever color, dusky purple with those orange swirls in it. And the Nanagon Flamingo is just, the, the swirling is way more apparent in this one. I, I don't know, I, I honestly love both of them. I couldn't choose between one if you forced me to, 
but I wanted to make sure that you got to see both of them up close and personal because they are both available on their website as of right now when I'm filming this. So if you're torn, think about, you know, what inks you would put in this because that's kind of a big decider for me. If I don't know what ink I'm going to use with a pen when I see it, I'm not going to know when I get it in hand either. And then I'm just not going to ink it and I'm not going to use it. Now, for the Superflex, I think the Superflex is pretty good. It's not vintage flex and it's not like some of the modern flexes that you're gonna see, like uh, Pen Realm has the Secretary to Flex. That one's like a beast. This is not that. This is like a more subdued vintage flex. It opens up, it goes from being that fine to a broad and gives you a very wet writing experience. And if you don't flex it, it writes super fine. Now, if I were to do this over again, I would probably have purchased this in a medium or a broad flex, or I might just have someone stub this for me, a, a nibmeister. But I do think their flex is nice, and I do think that it gives you a slightly different writing experience than if you were to just get a regular, you know, nib. But if you plan on using this for everyday writing, then I definitely do not recommend getting the super flex because it is even wetter than the normal writing experience. So with all of that said, if you don't have a Santini Italia yet, if you don't even know what I'm talking about, stop living under a rock, come join me in this, in this adventure of Italian pens. I really think that you will, you will enjoy this. If you like ebonite material, if you like any of the things that I have said about the overall writing experiences, if, if you've enjoyed them in action and you have the money to spend, then I definitely think that this is something that is, you know, in the words of Martha Stewart, a good thing. Now, if you, you know, want something that is a little bit bigger, they have the Nonagon Michelangelo. If you want something that is in a different price range, they offer the Libra model, which I may or may not have ordered one in a new material that they just released that, you know, I literally have zero self-control. But anyway, neither here nor there. The Libra model is a little bit less expensive than the Nonagon. The Nonagon takes uh, more because of the fact that it's faceted for them to finish it. So the Libra is just the cylindrical model and they have it in different ebonites as well. And if the Libra is, is also too much for, for your wallet to handle, which I understand, they also have acrylic models as well that are in the 200-ish euro, 250 euro uh, price point. Still not inexpensive, but for what you get, I do think that it, it's, it's worth it, especially for something that's this unique from a maker that you know, in my opinion, they're just good people. That's, that's it. Anyway, with all that said, if you enjoyed this content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, come here, come here. Let's, let's talk. What, what, what are you doing? What, what, why are you holding out? I see you. I don't see you. I still don't see you. But, but subscribe, do it. <laughs> As always, things got awkward towards the end here. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you're having a great day wherever in the world you may be. We'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, keep writing. to hear that nobody nobody wants to hear that Ugh, I feel like this filming setup is like closer to my face hi yeah teeth are clean and if it meets what I think it should meet meat mm, I'm hungry <laughs> Holy goodness, it's hot in here. And before you say it, I'm not sweating, I'm glistening with my magical 
Nusha Glisten. I'm melting now. <laughs> this pen is dedicated to all channel things. What? W words? And your mom is nice. And she likes flowers. So have you called her lately? Because <laughs> you really should. Why am I so weird? Sometimes you gotta, you gotta pay the toll to cross the bridge and stuff.